Welcome to the Welling Technocrat YouTube channel. Let us now understand the newly added SFU number 5.39, a specification of flux and electrode combinations for SW and ESW joining and surfacing of stainless steel and nickel alloys. Here you can see the designator for SW flux electrode combination. By the end of this video, we'll be able to understand and decipher the designator constituting the flux electrode classification. For understanding the designators constituting the flux electrode classification, there are four tables given in SFA 5.39. These tables are essential to decipher the designator. Table 1 is about tension test requirements. Table 2 is about Sharpie impact toughness requirements. Table 3 is about chemical composition requirements for well metal. And table 8 is about the preheat and interpass temperatures and post well heat treatment conditions. Table 1 gives details about the tension test requirements. F is followed by a three digit number. The three-digit number indicates the tensile strength requirement. The number 430 indicates that it meets the tensile strength requirement of 430 MPa. Well metal from a specific flux electrode combination that meets a high tensile strength requirement also meets the requirement of all the lower strength in the table for example well metal meeting the f590 requirement also meets the requirements for the designator with lower strength table 2 gives details about the charpie impact toughness requirements up to 100 degrees celsius there is only a requirement of minimum average energy of 27 joules and there is no requirement regarding minimum lateral expansion. Y shows that the maximum test temperature of plus 20 degrees Celsius shall fulfill the requirement of minimum average energy of 27 joules. Zero shows the fulfillment of the requirement of zero degrees Celsius. Similarly, 2 indicates a test temperature of minus 20, 3 indicates minus 30 and so on. Impact designator 20 indicates that the test temperature of minus 196 and it fulfills the minimum lateral expansion of 0.38 mm requirement. Impact designator Z indicates that there is no requirement of impact or lateral expansion. Table 8 shows the preheat and interpass temperatures and post well heat treatment conditions. It has given specific post well heat treatment for each designator. 410 and 420 indicate PWHTS 730 to 760 degrees Celsius. 410 NIMO at 595 to 620 degrees Celsius, 490 NB, 430, 430 NB at 760 to 790 degrees Celsius, 630 at 1025 to 1050 degrees Celsius. For all the others, PWHT at 595 degrees Celsius to 620 degrees Celsius, PWHT is recommended. There are AWS specification of the electrode for stainless steel and nickel alloys helpful for us. AWS 5.9 is for solid and stranded stainless steel electrodes. AWS 5.14 is for solid and stranded nickel alloy electrodes. AWS 5.22 is about coat stainless steel electrodes and AWS 5.34 is about poured nickel alloy electrodes. Table 3 gives details about chemical composition requirement for well metal. Against each well metal designator for each specific element, 
there is a weight percentage minimum and maximum requirements which are to be fulfilled. Happy welding! Thank you for watching. Kindly like the video and subscribe the YouTube channel. Push the bell notification for new welding related videos. Share the video with welders, welding foremen, welding engineers and welding enthusiasts. Thank you again.